Hi, welcome back, Fred. Yeah, in the shed. <laughs> back in the shed. Um, just a quick video, I hope, just to answer a question that came up on the comments over the weekend. I think there was a guy named High Oak Junction or something like that. And he said he's got a 6900 and he's been using it, but he's, uh, he's, his audio is quite low. His modulation is quite low. And how does he turn up the mic gain? Because it's not in the instructions. And you know, he's right. I remember when I got this radio, I think I did a radio swap with Gary. Cheers, Gary. I think I sent him a Cobra or it might have been a Lincoln or two I can't remember and I got this uh, this radio and yeah when I first use it using the standard CRT M6 microphone which I didn't get on with I, I never find these I think these microphones let the radio down personally I think they're pretty inferior to the quality of the radio but anyway when I first went on with the M6 yeah my my all my modulation was quiet people were telling me that I was quiet and it's quite right it's not in the instructions how you switch up the, uh, the the mic get the mic going so I think it was Steve 318 was uh, sort of told me fortunate enough he remembered anyway I'm just going to take you through it so if you want to increase the mic grain on your, on your radio you just hold down the function key here and the one you're looking for is the first one that pops up on mine and that is called IC9 and then you've got the digits next to it which run from 0 up to 63 and that is your mic gain setting. Now what you, this radio is quite sort of sensitive on the mic gain, what you don't want to do is overdrive it, it's quite easily to overdrive your modulation and then you start becoming distorted. There's nothing worse than trying to sort of communicate with someone who's overdriving their radio with distorted audio, it's probably better if they're a little bit quiet and they can sort of turn it up. Now it depends on what microphone you're using, if you're using the standard sort of M6 or your, another dynamic microphone, um, I think I swap mine out here, this uh, this KPO DMC 110, I think this is a 150 ohm microphone, dynamic and it suits the radio really well and this was about 10 quid I think from Knights and this was the one that I basically sort of stuck with. Now if you're using a non-powered microphone, let me just get back into that menu again there Oh, oh, there you go, just cop see, even I make mistakes. <laughs> Let's try again. Right, if you're using a start off, I would suggest at about 20. That would probably be a little bit too quiet. And then gradually increase it. I found the sweet spot for me was about 30. I could get to about 35. Uh, and then my audio was starting to sort of uh, distort. So, yeah, with a non powered microphone, try sort of around 30. Now, there is supposed to be a talkback function in this uh, radio. I can't find it, it's in the manual. But uh, it's something to do with going, switching the clarifier to another feature. Feature. If you know how to use the talkback feature where your voice will come out the speaker when you transmit, let me know in the comments because I can't get it to work. So yeah, there you go, right around about, th right about 30, you know, 35. Just get someone that you speak to on the radio and hopefully someone recognises your voice. You know, while you get just get them to give you a radio check and then just gradually increase it until they start to say that it's distorting and then back it off three or four, something like that. Now, if you're using a power mic, like this KPO532, which is a fantastic microphone by the way, works really really well with the uh, 6900 but again you have to adjust the radio accordingly. First thing on these power mics, the 532 got, got good audio but it is exceptionally powerful. Um, you can sort of see on mine now, I don't know if that's coming out, I've made a little mic mark there. I literally only use one third of the slider there on the power. Anything more than that and I start getting sort of over modulation issues. In fact, you could even back it off to maybe sort of about one quarter. Now, obviously, when you go into the radio, um, you're going to need to turn down that mic gain there. 30, I found for me, was sort of too high. Now, the sweet spot that I found with a power microphone was around about 20, maybe sort of 18, 17, but the maximum I, I thought was comfortable was about sort of 20. Again, you know, you need to have to sort of try it uh, when you sort of got it yourself. A lot of people have plugged in a 532 microphone and have come back on the comments and they've been way up. They've been sort of something up around about sort of the 60s and it overloads the radio completely. No one can hear what they're saying. So yeah, I'm going to sort of say, you know, round about a 20, 18 to 20 for me is about the right setting with a power microphone. So I just thought I'd clear that up because it's not in the manual, it's a bit odd. But the IC9 there option is not in the manual. Very, very strange. It did get me, it did throw me out when I first got the radio. So there we go. I'd like to say cheers, thanks for tuning in. I hope that sort of helps someone. And uh, yeah, take care of yourself, stay safe, and of course, I'll catch you all 
in the future and uh, yeah will be some more cb radios coming up i'm gonna do some more cb stuff and of course i'll catch you all on the next one but as for now take care cheers